and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cards and the Bears, and it's all up next. First opened way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, before kickoff, Charles, quickly your keys to the game. Well, partner, I can give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play, but here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. And able to get this out to the 25. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads him out. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Right to the air, here's Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. Murray's throw complete to McBride. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 46, here's second and four. Murray now to throw. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 42. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him and I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done you have to throw a number of coverages at him make him think as he's running downfield and hope you can create a little bit of havoc they suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at him and boy were they right that defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down second down Murray sets to throw got a man here Wilson and he's going to have another first down as the tackles made here at the Bears 18 23 yards the pick up there really a solid start here on the opening drive Charles he's now 4-4 and they're already in plus territory 
Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came off a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. Here's second and 10. Murray again, this is counter. And he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. 18 yards for James Conner. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. On the return, here's Tyler Scott. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single-season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, What's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Here's Fields. one across the 35. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Fields. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. 
Read option, here's Herbert. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Second and six. To throw his fields. He'll get that underneath to Herbert. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. Eighth play of the drive, forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. From the gun, here's Fields. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it and picking up a first down. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. Now a throw here to his running back. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Jets are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in his opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Now it's Fields. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. They go to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. On first and ten, it's Herbert. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second and a couple. Fields. Did he get the feet down? Yes! Touchdown! D.J. Moore, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are an extra point away from drawing level. And he just did get those feet in there on the side of the end zone. Well done. Probably the exact size foot necessary because I think if he had another half size, that, that catch doesn't count. And he's able to get it in, and it counts for a touchdown. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. the kicks away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, called it the 21. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. 
if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. To throw is Murray. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Murray going to throw. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. First down, Murray. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. From the gun, a give to Connor. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up, it's seven. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting run backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and ten. Throwing now is Murray. down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. a sensational run there by Kyler Murray. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And maybe the defense got so caught up in him throwing the football, they forgot he can take off too. And you often hear about the quarterback being the unaccounted for guy as a runner. Well, even on a passing play, he's unaccounted for as a runner, and he turned it into a nice game. A very nice run, and it turns in That's to six Prater. points. Now Prater to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive goes eight plays. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. To return is Scott, taking it about the one. 
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. A shotgun snap, Fields. They'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Fields. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Fields. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this a 39-yard attempt. Santos' kick is up and through, and they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell us end it with a kick, right? PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We watched the veteran James Conner put together a very solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. Tyler Scott now from his end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. But the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Now Herbert to start the drive. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. Now Fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Now here comes Dorch on the return. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three, because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now, they've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run, because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. That time, finally, a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line. It almost felt like relief, didn't it? Because with the success he's had throughout this game, You'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off. 
Not in that case. That has to feel good for the defense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Brings up fourth down. Solid coverage by the Bears, D. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Third down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. Prater's kick is good, and that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it, and they do so right there. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Chicago offense set to get started. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Field's going to keep it once more. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, he can't hold them. Fields throw complete here to commit. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Here's Murray. A short one there caught by Swain. First target, first catch, and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. On second down, here's Murray. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards at a first. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know. Bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanketed his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. On second down, Connor looking for space. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 58 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. But they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you've got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you at what point you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. And it was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Now Connor on the toss left side. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That good for 19 and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A quick throw here out to Brown. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. They run behind center with Connor. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run here with Connor. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Again, a run with counter. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Connor. And just nowhere to go for Connor. Defense gets to him, and they mark him short. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on, and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Prater's kick is good. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This fielded right at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So now Fields and the Bears down 20 to 10. A little over a minute to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now Fields. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Here's Fields. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Back to throw, Fields. He's got his target, that's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say make a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. All eyes on Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. They'll come up first and 10 here. Fields now to throw. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. They'll come up now on second down. And throwing again is Fields. And that'll be incomplete. 
complete with just six seconds left on the clock. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw his fields. That is caught, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash, dropped at the one. So illegal touching, not one you see often. It's going to wipe away a first down. Very simply, if you're a receiver, you can't set foot out of bounds and then be the first to catch the football. Side judge right there on the play made the call. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no point.